All right, now, as we've already said, Americans decided to let their fingers do the walking and their credit cards do the talking on this Cyber Monday, the biggest online shopping day of the year. And here with us is Janelle Martinez. She is the tech editor for Black Enterprise Magazine. Thanks for being with us. Welcome back to Arise America. Thank you for having me, Debbie. Okay, well, you know, Cyber Monday has been around for a few few years, and it mm -hmm. has increasingly gotten bigger each year. Exactly. I know it is still Monday, but what are the preliminary num numbers looking like? Well, according to the National Retail Federation, they're saying that approximately 131 million people have agreed to, you know, be shopping today, and that's up from 129 from last year. So we are seeing an uptick, you know, and uh, I mean, it, it just makes sense for the simple fact that who wants to wait in lines, who wants to get rampage, you know, th with other shoppers, you just want to like, find a just, parking spot. Exactly. You don't want any of the hassle that goes with the shopping. You can literally just, if you're in your jammies, you're in your um, your house, you can just log on and, and shop. And, and is it the convenience, Janelle, that people are starting to gravitate towards shopping online or are they getting better deals? I would say it's a mixture of both. There, there are, you know, greater deals, but also too, I mean, we also see nearly one in every five uh, Cyber Monday shoppers are using their mobile devices. So it's access. You know, the retailers are meeting uh, are meeting us where we are. You know, we don't have to go to the stores. Essentially, we can literally just log on from our, our mobile devices. We can log on from our laptops, our desktops, and, you know, let our fingers do the talking. Are there particular items that generally are a better deal online than in the brick and mortar store? Yes, I would say um, a lot of the electronics. Uh, I, we're seeing, as was mentioned earlier, PlayStation 4. That's a big, big item. Um, everybody, at least I know, has um, has it on their on their list, at least for their children. Um, and so we we're seeing that as you know, having some sales with that. We're also the LED TVs. That's always a big thing. You know, cameras. Just the big tech items are really going pretty quick online. And tell me about some of these stores that are traditional, you know, box stores or brick and mortar stores that are really making a push online with their online sales. Yeah, actually we're seeing places like, uh, you know, a favorite of mine is Miss Jessie's, you know, natural hair care. Uh, they have a, a great deal going on 40% off of, you know, your, your full price items. And they're going well into December, which is a big thing now. It's not just Cyber Monday. We're having deals go well into the week, well into December. So you don't just have to be limited to your Monday shopping. Okay, and so the big question is, how do people find out about these deals? There's a few ways that they can find out. Personally, I, I just log on to my social media network since the morning. I mean, the peak time for Cyber Monday shopping was 11.25, according to um, some stats. And oh, no. I know, for at least for myself, it was 6 a.m. I got up and people were already tweeting, retweeting ASOS, who has 30% off. They were retweeting Macy's that were giving free shipping after, you know, purchasing $75 or more. You know, it was just my network of people on social media, again, you know, having things... At, at, at your fingertips. So we're seeing a lot of people just, you know, tapping into their social media networks and finding out about these deals because it is a digital situation. Well, well, and one more thing before I let you go, and, and you know, some of the complaints early on about mm -hmm. online shopping was the inconvenience of returns and return policies mm -hmm. as well as the cost of shipping. Are those policies uh, becoming easier, becoming less restrictive now? I think retailers are examining their policies, but it is something that is on the consumer to really um, investigate on before, you know, clicking, you know, enter on, on their computers. You really do have to be knowledgeable. And also, there you have to be, you know, safe. Make sure that your antivirus is up to date. Make sure that you're not mm -hmm. clicking on pop-ups because, yeah, you're spending your money, you know, purchasing items, but you don't want someone to drain your, your bank account at the same time. So make sure you're doing it, you know, safely. And from my own personal experience, I will encourage you to read that return policy yes. before you make the purchase. Exactly. You don't want to get caught up in the situation. So yeah. All make right. sure to read. Jan Janelle Martinez, you always bring great information. Thank you. Thank you, so Thank much. you Debbie. Okay, see ya. Take care. You're watching Arise America.